Hey there, this is how you can locate the IDs of the sidebars for your theme. Right now I'm on the uh, WordPress 2016 theme. Um, if you head over to your WordPress admin panel and go to the widgets area, um, we're going to try to find the, the main sidebars. Now these are going to be different per theme. So right now we've got lesson and course sidebars that lift our LMS registers, and then 2016 has uh, this primary sidebar, which actually appears on the sidebar. That's the one we want, and they have these content bottom ones. Uh, this might be from a plugin I have installed, so let's ignore those. Um, so what you're going to want to do to locate this is you're going to want to click find the, the primary sidebar. Again, there might be multiple ones, but we're looking for the primary. And then we're going to right click. Uh, this works in either Chrome uh, or Firefox or, or the latest versions of Internet Explorer. I'm using Chrome right now. We're going to right click and we're going to go down to inspect. Um, and now this is going to open up what's known as the element inspector. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit codey, so, so bear with me. Um, I'm just going to shrink this down so we can see a little bit better. Um, as you highlight, uh, hover over items in your element inspector, um, if, you, if you right click like right by the title too, right where it says sidebar, that'll get us pretty close to where we want to be. Um, and then as we highlight, we're going to find different elements uh, on the actual web page. And what we're looking for is this item right here that says sidebar dash one in the ID here. Um, this, is, this is what we want. This is what the, the outcome of this step is, is this sidebar hyphen one. Um, so I'm going to just change my theme really quick. Uh, I've got quite a few themes installed. I'm going to show how this can work on, on just about any themes if we check out, say, the blue canvas theme. We'll activate that. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, anyway, we'll reload the page here. Uh, just ignore that message. And we'll see, uh, now we've got a couple more sidebars. We've still got our lifter LMS ones. Canvas has footer ones. Uh, the home page, the widgets template, header, they've got all these different ones. But again, we're kind of looking for that primary sidebar, and this one says the default primary sidebar for your website using two and three column websites. So this is, this is the one we want here. Um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to inspect it, right? Click right on the thing. Just go up a tiny bit. We're going to be looking for this item again. Uh, you'll see what it looks like when I highlight it over there. That's how you'll if you look to have something similar to that highlighting. You'll know you're on the right one. Canvas calls it primary. That's the ID we want. Um, let's check out a couple other themes. Sorry, I've got a lot of tabs open here. Um, here, themes. Uh, let's go back to. Uh, Messed all my stuff up. Appearance themes. Might be on an outdated version of that. Uh, we can check out Divi. Everybody loves Divi. Um, yep. That's interesting. Everybody's got that same error message displaying now that 4.5 is available. Um, again, here we've got quite a few sidebars, all the footer areas. Uh, we don't really care about those. We're going to go right to the sidebar again. Um, Click inspect. This one is called sidebar hyphen one as well. So there are some standards here. Um, Divi is obviously you know taking off the, the WordPress uh, 2015 2016 standards, um, and uh, this will continue to work. You can kind of do this with any of your themes. You can do this with Genesis. Um, although uh, if you're watching this video and you're using Genesis, uh, there's another article specific to Genesis that you might want to take a look at. Um, I've got a ton of themes here. Here's Tesseract. It's a really uh, popular theme. I forget the gentleman's name who produces it. Uh, but anyway, uh, we don't really care who's doing it. Let's go back here and reload our page again. We'll see this one is called Primary Sidebar. So let's inspect that. Uh, and our idea is Sidebar 1 again, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but this will work with just about any theme, so uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please open a support thread um, and keep following along. Uh, if you're if you're trying to get sidebars to work on your theme, the next video and the next set of steps will explain what to do with this ID. Thanks.